This episode of Sojourner's Best is brought to you by Audible. Hey, what's up, guys? Sojourner's Best here. Well, we're a few days from the announcement of the Samsung Galaxy S4, and the buzz has kind of been up and down for some people. Some people were really excited about this S4, and the features that Samsung showed off seem to be very cool and very appealing to them, while a lot of other people feel that it's just kind of gimmicky, some of the updates to the software and things like that, and that this phone really didn't live up to what they were expecting from Samsung to do with it. Now, I honestly think that this Samsung Galaxy S4 is going to be a pretty cool phone. I was able to use it for about 30 minutes um, on the floor at the actual event itself and it felt thinner it felt lighter it felt better in your hand than what the samsung galaxy s3 felt and the screen was again was more beautiful um the software seemed to kind of just fly by it was pretty uh, fast and responsive and some of the new features that it showed off were pretty cool especially like the dual recording uh, for the video camera and things like that but i don't think that the s4 is going to really have that same type of impact that the s3 had on the cell phone market now i'm not taking a shot at the s4 when i say that i'm just simply stating that the s3 last year in 2012 was an awesome phone and i voted it my favorite phone of 2012 and the reason is I, I voted it that way was because that this was the first phone that i really saw that was able to just pry away iPhone users from the iPhone and switch over to the S3 and everybody was talking about it. And so with this S4, Samsung just really has a lot to live up to. And so I just think it's unrealistic to expect a company like Samsung or a company like Apple to every six months to a year to be able to just change the market of a cell phone or a tablet or a watch or a TV, you know, it really change the way we use it on a daily basis. Um, I, I just kind of feel it's unrealistic to be able to expect them to totally wow your pants off every single time. And again, I'm not saying this S4 is not an exciting new upgrade to the Samsung lineup of cell phones. I'm just saying that it's not going to have that part with that same type of buzz that the S3 has, but that doesn't mean that you probably shouldn't go get it. That definitely doesn't mean that I'm not going to get it. I'm definitely going to get it not only for the review, but I think it's going to be a cool phone um, that has cool display, has some touch and, and, and eye gestures and, and features and things like that. And I think the camera features are going to be pretty impressive myself. Um, but it's just, I think a lot of people feel that honestly, this, this kind of sums up everything. I think a lot of people feel that because the S4 looks like the S3, just from the outside, design-wise, it looks like the S3. They don't see it as a substantial upgrade over the Galaxy S3. They just see it like the Samsung Galaxy S3S. And it's just funny to me because some of these same comments have been made about Apple with the iPhone 3GS and the 4S and possibly the iPhone 5S is going to be coming up this summer. And so it's just kind of interesting to me that now people are talking about Android products the same way. But the same way I kind of defended Apple, I'm the same way I'm going to defend Samsung too because you just, again, you just can't expect them to be able to change the phones that much every single year every couple years i think they're just really on this two-year cycle where we're going to see these phones or tablets come out every two years that really just you know again affect everybody in a different way than what we've seen before and also too samsung has come out and said that the galaxy s3 will be receiving some of these software upgrades on the s4 in a future software update so if i am an s3 owner i don't know whether i'm gonna have my wallet out when the s4 launches saying i just absolutely have to have this phone like it was when the samsung galaxy s3 launched but again i don't see that as a bad sign for samsung and a lot of people again if you do call it the samsung galaxy s3s fine but i don't see samsung losing steam or anything like that i just see that they're a company that has has the expectations almost similar not all the way but kind of getting up there to what apple has when it comes to cell phones and people expect you to wow their pants off every single year or realistically it's not going to be able to do that they're not going to be able to do that for every single person every single time but again most people when you look at the s4 over the s3 you can see some really nice upgrades software wise and hardware wise with an eight core processor it does have a better camera so we're waiting to see what the camera actually can do as far as pictures and videos but it, it seems to have some really good internal specs upgraded as well i think that we, i think the samsung Galaxy S4 is going to be a winner for Samsung this year. This is maybe not as big enough buzz as the S3 was. So anyway, guys, these are just my thoughts and opinion about the Samsung Galaxy S4. Again, I can't wait for that thing to finally launch for me to get my hands on for a review for you guys. But leave a comment down below what you think about the Samsung Galaxy S4. Do you think it's a flop? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it's good? Do you think Samsung is on the right track with this phone? Leave your comment down below. And before I officially end this video, I'm just going to take one look at our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Audible. Audible.com has thousands and thousands and thousands of books to choose from. And they're just not regular books. These are audio books that you can put in your cell phone, put in your MP3 player, put it in your car and listen to while you're driving to work or listen to while you're working out if you want to go for a run. And they also just released a new iPad application that you can download right now and choose your favorite book and listen to it on your tablet. And I'm one of the books I'm reading right now is called Digital Wars. It's a book talking about the battle between Google and Apple and Microsoft, and really just the battle for the internet and things like that. So you can start listening to this audiobook or really any book in their audiobook library if you go to audible.com forward slash soldier right now and you'll get a free audiobook again that's audible.com 
forward slash soldier. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed to make sure you get updated with all my future videos and also to all of my links to my social networks like my Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, or down below as well. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.